friends thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to my first real vlog <laughs> i've tried vlogs in the past but now that like when i rewatched them i didn't really like how they looked so i want to give it like a real go i'm actually at the library right now because i have some books that i need to take back i finished reading them probably like two months ago but I just kept like auto renewing them because I was lazy and didn't feel like driving to the library even though it's only like two no I want to say like 10 minutes from my house so yes I'm finally here because they are due tomorrow and I couldn't auto renew them anymore because I guess someone else wants to check them out um so yes i'm here at the library i can show you guys the books that i've read this is the first book seven days in june by tia williams this book was actually really good um it was about like two authors and they like had a childhood together but they got disconnected and then they got reunited and it's like that story basically like uh, over a period of seven days but yeah this was really nice and then i read this one an american marriage by tayari jones so this one was also pretty nice it was about um this couple that was married i want to say they were married for like a year and then basically um the guy ended up going to jail for a crime that he didn't commit. I think he was in jail for like six years. So ultimately he was in jail longer than they were together. So like that really took a strain on their relationship. So it kind of just plays that out. And like it's written in a format kind of like letters between the two of them. Because obviously they can't have like real conversation because he's behind bars. So yes, I think that's, I think I'm giving you synopsis synopsis of these books as opposed to like telling you too much because there's still some like stuff in the back that happens and the last one is um the two lives of sarah and this one's by katherine adele west so this one was pretty good too i actually didn't really like the ending because i was kind of just like okay sis but um, this book was really nice. It was about this lady who went through like a traumatic experience and she moved down south with her husband. No, she moved down south by herself and she was just working that she fell in love. Then another traumatic experience happened. Then she started like hating the world. So yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I would recommend all three. But if I had to pick one out of all of them, I would pick the seven days in June for you guys to start with. Okay, so I made it out of the library. The books that I wanted, they actually don't have them, so I had to place a hold for them, which is what you saw me like doing on my phone and on the computer. Now I'm about to head to um, Salon Centric. I wanna go pick up this new um, shampoo and conditioner so I can do my next review on that. I need to see, like, how far is this place? Here, this one, seven miles away. 20 minutes. Do I want to go 20 minutes away? Oh my gosh. Ooh, 7.4 miles. Oh, it's like the same, but I'd rather this go to this one because it's still in Jersey. It's dark, but I've made it to a salon centric. 
this place is not that far from me i don't think but i've never been in this area so yes we're gonna head in now from Salon Centric. The lady was so nice, she gave me this really nice free bag. But I'm just gonna go through kind of everything that I got. Um, so I spent enough money on the Amika brand to be able to get this water bottle, which is super cute. I love water bottles, if you know me. I got some um, shower caps. Well, like, I'm really gonna use them for deep conditioning because I just hate after I use a, sh a cap for deep conditioning I don't want to reuse it I just want to throw it out and go on to the next because I hate reusing that and then this is the stuff I got from Amika so I got this um, their signature conditioner the nourishing mask I got the shampoo as well I got this um, hydrating hair oil so I never heard this is pretty new to their line I never heard of an oil that can be hydrating, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, if you just watched my last video about me trying to clean out my closet and you saw how many products I have, this is not, <laughs> this is how I'm starting off the new year, buying more stuff. And then the last thing I got, oh my gosh, okay. So I got this L'Oreal Paris Curl Expression hair mask bro so in the store i don't know what i was doing i guess i was focused on like trying to record stuff but i didn't even smell any of this stuff i'm just like you know what first of all burgundy is my favorite color second of all i never knew that l'oreal paris um professional had this curl expression line and the lady told me that um this is actually pretty new i didn't know that they had this so I was like, you know what? I've been looking for a good mask for my hair. I really want to try this. Bro, I didn't smell it at first. But she was like, oh, it smells like a very popular... She's like, I can't put the name or I can't like say what it smells like, but I know it smells like something. And I was thinking, hmm, I, don't, I have no idea. I never smelled it. I'll just smell it when I get home. When she opened it... I knew right away what this smelled like. It is Baccarat Rouge 4, 540, 450, whatever, Baccarat Rouge in a bottle. Like they did this on purpose because if you know Baccarat, you will know that this is identical. Like they must have brought the fragrance or something. Like you'll smell it right away. And if my hair can smell like that, let me not put this on my face, but if my hair can smell like that, it would be amazing. So yes, that's all the stuff that I got. And I don't know if you guys can see my hair, but I'm having it in like a little protective style or whatever. But yes, definitely. I actually recorded, if you like the style, I've actually recorded um, myself doing my hair. So you guys can see like how I achieved this. But I think it's a pretty cute style. So yes, I'm going to record. These are going to be two separate videos. I'm going to do one like focusing on Amika brand. And then the second one trying out this deep conditioner. Because the lady said it's really nice. It has glycerin, urea, and hibiscus seed. So that's probably why they made the color like this. Because this looks just like sorrel. But okay. So Thanks for watching thus far, and I will see you guys in the next clip whenever that is. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. <laughs> Just kidding. It's like a week later. 
today i'm going to brunch with my friend and then i have to run two errands i gotta go to home depot to get like shower i mean drain draino and then i gotta go to the dollar store to get a you know the clear shower curtain liner i need to get another one of those so those are the two things i'm really gonna do today but this package that i got from opali so before the new year i had ordered a dress it came i want to say probably like a week later but i just haven't gotten around to opening it up because i have really honestly no need for the dress i just bought it because it was cute so i'm like you know what let me open it up camera wait is this one i ordered i didn't know it was like mesh was it a meshy dress it's basically like this orange dress and then oh my gosh my room is a mess <laughs> how do i hide that <laughs> But okay, look, it's like a mesh dress with a hole here. I normally wear a size 2, but they only had a size 4 available. So, yeah, I feel like this color will look nice on my skin tone. They had like a green that I really wanted, but I think this is nice too. Like giving very summery vibes. So, yeah, we're going to see. I don't know how it actually fits. I'll try it on another time but that's basically it for now so i will see you guys at the next destination which is the restaurant okay so i'm at the restaurant i'm looking at this part breakfast sides how are just two eggs seven dollars bro that's like the cost of a whole carton i'm confused From the restaurant um, I went with my friend like I said it was actually pretty good the pancakes even though it's expensive I would recommend like trying it out because I just got regular buttermilk pancakes and they were pretty good like the taste oh I can't really even describe it but it was like a cakey pancake like it was very sweet the flavor was really nice so I would definitely recommend it the place is called PJ's pancake house yeah, it was nice catching up with my friend. She got the, I think, fried chicken sandwich. She said that was good too. And then as you saw, afterwards I stopped at the dollar store because I had to get the shower curtain. I know I said I was going to go to Home Depot too, but I didn't end up having to do that because my dad was able to like clear the drain with the tools that we have at the house. I'm probably just going to clean up my room because as you saw in the other clip, it's kind of a mess back there so I'm gonna clean up my room and figure out what I'm gonna take for lunch tomorrow figure out what I'm gonna wear to work tomorrow and then just like relax and watch TV and stuff we're going to end this vlog here hopefully I got enough footage like enough clips for it to be like a good vlog or something that someone would want to watch so hopefully the quality is there <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, like I said. And always subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So talk to you guys later. Bye.